everybody, welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we have a really fun uh, drawing project for you. It's more of a personal project, so I want you to start thinking about things that you love or maybe someone that you love or something that you love to do. Um, I'll give you an example, but this will be up to you what you choose to draw today. Before we get started on the art project, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the fabulous kids art that you've sent in to me. Let's take a look. Kids art. Wow, thank you so much for sending in your art to me. I saw some tributes to Japanese American civil rights leader Fred Korematsu. I saw tributes to John Lewis and Sister Rosetta Tharp and Dr. Corbett. And I saw a lovely dragon and some vases and many more. So keep sending in your art. I always keep my email on the bottom corner of your screen so you always know how to reach me. So for today's art project, you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a good eraser, and something to color with, okay? And I will meet you over at the table. Okay, so I want you to start thinking of either something that you love doing, um, something that you love it could be anything. It could be a hobby, maybe it's a person, uh, maybe it's a game, or maybe it's a pet. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create what we call maybe like an open frame. I'm going to demonstrate that. I'll do an easy version and a little more complicated version. And then we're going to draw something inside of the frame, but we're all going to draw something different depending on what it is that you love doing. So I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to try to find, you know, the, the middle of my paper. If you want to be very specific, you can measure, but I'm going to start down here by just drawing a heart and just kind of sketch a little bit. I'm going to go over this with a Sharpie with a black pen so that you can see it better. But, you know, hearts are a little difficult to get, you know, symmetrical, but just, you know, use your eraser if you need to. So here we have a heart, and then I'm just going to outline something like this. It goes up the side. I want it to go about right here. And this is, I don't really know what the name for this is. I'm just going to call it like an open frame. I'm going to draw details on here, but I, I want to try to make both sides the same. If you really wanted to, you could fold your paper in half. Remember how I've taught you before if you're drawing something symmetrical and that way, you know, both sides are totally equal, but it's not really that important. 
Okay, so for this first, you know, this is more for beginners, this, this frame. I'm going to outline the heart. Okay, and then I'm going to start over here by just doing some decorative lines that will create like a frame. We'll go like that, and then we could do the same thing on this side. And we can build up again over here. Just doing some little squigglies. We can go again right here. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to kind of eyeball. I know these aren't perfect, but make another one up here. Another one here. And then I'm going to take my ultra fine Sharpie to add a few details. Like maybe we want a few lines coming off like this and we can put some dots around it and this basically is just going to frame our artwork this is a personal project you get to decide what you're going to draw in here inside this frame and it's completely up to you. And I will definitely, as usual, I will show you an example of what I'm going to do. But you can think, do you want to draw a special person in your life? Um, I know some of you love Minecraft. Do you want to draw something about Minecraft? Do you want to draw, it could be completely anything. This is your personal art. So I'm just adding some little details around the side. Yeah, and with this part here, I'm just adding decoration. You know, use your creativity. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just a simple way to add some decoration to your drawing that's going to go in the middle. Okay, so here's one example. And if I wanted to, I can kind of put a couple of lines on the heart. Now, this is more of a, a basic example. I'll set this to the side. For those of you who are a little more advanced, if you would like to do a frame that's more detailed, um, you could do something like this. I already have part of it mapped out, but I'll go over it with the black pen. So you would just have your heart here. And then this is just a combination of some leaves and flowers. And they don't have to make sense. You don't have to think, oh, where is that leaf coming from? It's just decoration. And I'm gonna go back in and use my ultra fine Sharpie for different parts of this too. You could have a flower here. We're just gonna connect it all together. Maybe this is going to connect here. And then we can keep going. Maybe a leaf right here. And again, I'm just adding decoration. And again, you would just do the same thing on this side to frame your art. You can make it as detailed or as simple as you'd like. We have this. Maybe there's another little leaf right here. Another one there. Maybe I'll add a flower here. And maybe another leaf at the top, just to cap it off. Now let's add some detail with the ultra fine Sharpie. I think it's always, always looks good to add different line weights. There we go, maybe some right here. This could be a small leaf, maybe some more lines. All you're doing is adding decoration to add, to just enhance your artwork. Yeah, and if you want, I, I always like the effect of some dots look good. Okay. And then you would do the same thing over here. So I have two examples. So one that's very simplified for our younger viewers, or if you just if you just prefer this look, you can do that. 
or you can challenge yourself if you want to draw some leaves and flowers. And if you really want to add color, this one gives you more opportunity to paint and, and color, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'll leave this one up. I'm going to draw on the simplified version right here. So for me, I thought and thought, like, what do I want to draw? And I finally decided um, in my family, we're going to get a new pet on Monday. And he's not a typical pet. He's also, he's actually very special. And if you can see, here's a picture of him. He is a sulcata tortoise. And he's actually quite large. And uh, we're getting him from like a, an animal sanctuary. Sometimes people buy these tortoises from a pet store when they're babies. And families don't realize how big they grow. I think they get to be 100 pounds and they live a really long time. So they're always looking for homes. So we're actually getting him for free, but um, he did need a home. So I am, and his name is Frank. His name is Frank and he's five years old and he weighs 40 pounds. So I'm gonna draw Frank. And if you want to draw a tortoise, if you love tortoises, you can draw along with me. Yeah. So if you just wanna follow along with what I do, you can draw Frank. But if you have something else in mind, by all means, draw anything that is special to you. This is a personal art project. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Frank's shell. Okay, and I know that it's something, it's going to be kind of round like this. It's almost like, you know, maybe I can show you, like if you think of it as a circle, we're going to use the uh, top part of the circle for Frank's shell. And somewhere around, let's say, maybe like around here, it's almost like a, it's more than a half circle. Okay, so somewhere around here is where the shell kind of starts to go out. So it kind of would go something like this. And as you know, I always, um, I'll go over this with pens so that you can see it better. But I'm going to kind of turn the picture into a, you know, a kind of a, a cartoony, cartoon version, as I usually do. Um, I, I'm going to put his head, I'm going to do a real wide tortoise head right here. Something like, I'm just sketching it out right now. Just sketching. I'll make some changes still, but I'm going to do a wide head. And I'm going to kind of make it come down. Tor tortoises have that cute little chin. So I'll do kind of like a chin. And um, this side over here kind of is scalloped. So if I look at his shell, you know, I'm going to keep my computer close by so that you can see here. Um, the shell is scalloped. It goes up right here and then down. See how his head goes in front of his shell? So I'm going to draw that scalloped part right there. So it kind of goes like this. It goes up and then back down and up behind his head. And then this side is the same. It goes up like that and then kind of back down like that. Okay. And then um, let's see, as far as his legs and everything go, the legs kind of come out here, kind of like this. And I'm, as I said, I'm kind of modifying it a little bit. I'm simplifying. And you can do whatever you want with your art. That's why I like art. Okay, so we have a couple of legs there, something like that. And let's go ahead and look at Frank's face. So turtles have, I'm gonna get that real close. Can you see his nostrils? Oops. Uh, you can see his nostrils that are right there. They're just two little round holes in his face. So somewhere around here, I'll put these here, and he kind of has a little like flatness to his face right there, and then we'll do a little, why don't we make him smile? And then they kind of have, like they're, they're like dinosaurs, aren't they? And we'll give him some happy eyes. So maybe just kind of a couple round eyes right here, and something like that. And I'll, I'll, I'll do the details with my black pen. And maybe we'll give him kind of like 
that kind of shows his face right there. And they have like little scales on their face. Like we can kind of show that. Okay. And I'll do more details with the pen. Now when it comes to the markings on his shell, let's see, it looks like here there's there's like one in the center and then two on the side of those blocks, those sections on the shell. So I'm gonna work on those right now. So we'll do like one kind of going like this and it's gonna be pretty wide and we'll go back like that. And we can have another, there's another one here like that. And another one that connects over here, it kind of goes down. And we'll do a section right here, another section over here. You can even, you know, round it a little bit so it doesn't look like a flat circle. And there we go. It's going to kind of come out there. And then from here, this goes to the scallop right there. So does this one. It goes to that scallop. And... I'll put some lines on there with the black pen. Then this will be like his little body in there. We'll kind of close it in like that. Okay, I'm gonna erase some of the extra pencil marks that I don't want. And then I'll use my black pen and then also add a few more details. So let me see, I think I wanna shorten this side over here. It looks a little bit wide. Let's see, Oop, we'll kind of make it go out. Well, I'll fix it with the pen. Okay. All right, so part of this I'll do with the thick black Sharpie. I like his little face. Okay, so I'm gonna do a head that's kind of like this. Kind of comes out and then gets narrow. There's his chin. And then as far as his shell goes, we'll have this go from here from here to here, kind of balance it out a little bit. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start with this segment here. And we have one over here on this side, and one over here. Tortoises can live a very long time. And did you know that there's a tortoise club in Orange County? You can research them. That's how we found out about Frank. Okay, and I'll draw his little legs and maybe just do a little lines like that for the feet. And we'll do this underside here. And I'm gonna add, I'll add the details on his face and on his shell now. I will be very curious to see what you choose to draw. I wanna find out what kinds of things you love. And, you know, as I said before, this is a personal project. It's completely up to you. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So there we have his strange turtle nostrils and a little mouth. Let's do his eyes. Let's see for his, I'm gonna leave a little, I'll, I'll hold this up close to, so I can, sh so I'll show you how I did these, these eyes to make, to leave little white parts there. Can you see that right there? He's getting cuter. Okay, and we'll do little eyebrows. And th these little circles will kind of represent all the, the kind of dinosaur slash dragon slash lizard scales that they have. I'll add these because they have these scales. I'm going to show you the picture again. Look, did you see his legs? Look at his legs and look at his nose. Look at all those that it's almost, I, I swear he looks like what I imagine dinosaurs would look like. Very interesting, I think they're very interesting. Okay, so now to make the shell, 
look a little better. I'm just gonna kind of outline. I'm taking a thinner pen. I'm just kind of going like this. I'm following the shape. We'll go like this over here. Do the same thing here. Yeah, that looks a little better, doesn't it? It looks a little more tortoise-like. And then this part, oh, this part looks like it has a little line actually coming right here a little bit. Well, I'll just, yeah, this has a line right here. And I'll just also continue with this. And you're, whatever you draw, it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. Okay, and then why don't I add some details because I don't want it to look like Frank is just floating in here. So maybe I'll add like a background so it looks like, you know, there's a horizon line behind him. And I think, I know turtles like to eat grass and weeds and they eat all kinds of lettuce. So maybe I'll just do this very simple that just suggests little marks like this that make us think that he's on the grass somewhere all happy. You can even you know, like do a few back here on the horizon line. I'll make them a little smaller. And you know, if we wanted to, we could put a sun in the background. You know, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll put like a little sun right here. Something like that up in the sky kind of shining down like he's out in the, the sun somewhere all happy and I could add a couple little like flowers here or there again I'm just offering I always just offer suggestions to you and you get to draw however you want now um, if you love animals maybe you want to look at examples of different, you know, pictures of animals and um, draw an animal inside your frame. I'm going to scoot this over so you can still see it for those of you who are using this as a reference. And at this point, I think I'm ready to add some color to my artwork. Okay, so once again, before I put this away, it looks like, you know, it looks like Frank is mostly in the brown colors and there's some dark grays, but I think to make my art more interesting, I'll put like more green on his body, the way that you see, you know, turtles in cartoons a little bit more. So that's how I'm going to um, paint him. And you can use crayons, you can use anything that you want. I happen to be using uh, Crayola watercolors today. And maybe I will start uh, with a little brown on his shell, but I'll add a couple of different colors. Let's see. And watercolors always dry lighter than what they would normally. And you know, the part that is uh, facing the sun, I'll make sure that that's the lightest, like on the shell. So I'm just adding a little bit of some light brown here. And I think on this top one, I'll for sure leave that center white, like paper colored because it'll be like it, the sun is shining right there and it'll be, he'll be darker underneath, just like the shadow. Do some color here, just a little bit. Okay, and then I think I will even add some darkness. Do you remember how uh, Frank Shell had really like almost a dark gray where the, where those, uh, I don't know what to call these, where the patterns came together. There was that dark, like almost looked black, but I'll just use the 
the darkest watercolor that I have right here. I like mixing colors. You can do this with crayons too. You can definitely mix colors. And this part is down lower, so I think I'll definitely add more, like darker colors down here. Make it all down there. Okay. So I really hope that you send in pictures of your art because I, I always like to learn more about you and you know I'm curious to see the different things that you enjoy doing you know maybe some of you are going to do a picture of sports in the middle of your frame if there's something that you love or maybe if you have like a book that you just really love like your all-time favorite book maybe you want to draw a picture of that book in your frame that's an idea it could be a person maybe a family member. Game. Anything. Okay, then let's add, I'm gonna get a green color. Just start adding some green here. And I'll probably mix a little, you know, some brown to the green too, because he's not bright green. But I know cartoon turtles are usually always green. There we go. Maybe some of the spots on his face, I'll add, you know, some brown into that too. Okay. See. See what happens if we add a little brown to show those scales on his face. Maybe some brown here too, because this is kind of dark right here under his shell. It's kind of shadowed right there. I think it's yeah, I, I really like mixing colors like this. Okay. And then uh, when it comes to the heart on your frame, you can definitely, you know, color it any color that you want to. Or if you want to do a pattern inside the heart. Add a little yellow in here, some parts of the shell. Wow, what an interesting shell we made. So I have some yellow and black and brown. I'll hold it up closer so you can see. I'm gonna smooth out his the color on his legs a little bit more. And I think I'll smooth out a little more of the brown too up on his shell. And then, you know, sometimes when your paint dries, if you wanna go back in and modify it, you can do that too. Okay. Yeah, okay, and I'm gonna just draw, I'm gonna add in some greenery to the grass, just very softly, just do a few little suggestions of green around here. I'm not gonna color in the whole inside. And then maybe, you know, this horizon line, we can add a little bit of green. Just here and there, just a few green here and there. And it's kind of leaking out just a little bit, so I'm going to grab it with my paper towel. There, perfect.
There we go. So now it looks like he's on the grass. Let's let's do a some sun color up there. I'm just doing very soft colors with mine with this. Okay, now let's look at the heart. Hmm, what color do I want to paint the heart? Mm, I'm not going to go typical. Usually I would think red, but mm, I'm feeling like purple today. Yeah. And as I said, you can write something in the heart. You could do stripes or a pattern in the heart. There we go. I kind of made it like kind of darker on one side. I can even add a little more darkness over here too. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think I'll write his name on this too. And I'm not going to paint this part of the frame, but if you want to, you certainly can. And let's see. I am going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to, I don't want to smear what I just did, but I'm going to write Frank. How's that? Okay, so let's look up close. There you can see, that's how I painted the heart. I wrote his name, painted the turtle. And there's a, like a sun. I didn't even color the sky, but you could. You know what? Before I, let me just add a little suggestion of blue. I just can't leave it undone. Just a little suggestion up here, and I can just kind of drag it out. I always like it better when there's some color on the paper. There we go. There. Just a little bit. We'll do a little more over here. And then down here, I'm going to put water first and then add a little color and it'll be softer. There. Yeah, I think that helps. I'm glad I added, I'm glad I added some blue just to add interest, and I think it, it adds happiness to the whole scene, so Frank doesn't seem as lonely there. I, I feel better with that. And I could put a little more, you know, I could add a little more green down here too, just to fill it in. The color makes everything a little more interesting and soft. It, it softens up the scene there. There we go. Oh, so much better. So much better. And I didn't even like fill it in completely, but did you notice I just kind of put a suggestion of color. Now I'll hold it up for you. That's better. There. Okay. And then again, here is this, here is this frame. You can take a screenshot of that if that's something that you want to draw and you would do the same thing on both sides. Do it like symmetrical. You can even fold the paper in half, remember? I've taught you before to hold it up to the window and trace through your paper. Okay, I will meet you back up at the easel with Frank. Okay, so there, there he is. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I hope it made you think about something or someone who you love. Um, I will see you next time. Before we go, let's take a look at some of that, that fabulous student art one more time. Bye-bye. Kids Art.
see you next time.